Good morning. Welcome to Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor Krieger. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. So on Tuesday, uh, we looked at Matthew 18. Uh, and we talked about just how far we are to go in order to bring a brother or sister back when they're wandering away from Jesus. Talk to them privately. If they don't listen, you don't give up. They're too important. Bring some friends along to show them how much you love them, to stress the danger of sin. And if they still don't listen, don't give up. Jesus says, take it to the church. And if they still don't listen, you have to tell them the truth, even though they might hate you for it. Even though it might crush you to have to utter these words, you're walking away from Jesus. You're putting yourself outside of the faith. We're begging you, come back, because if you don't, down that path, there's only death. This is the task. This is how much Jesus tells us to love, and it might cost you something. But the cost of not doing it is higher. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 7 through 9. God says to Ezekiel, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. So hear the words I speak and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you will surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade him from his ways, that wicked man will die for his sin, and I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the wicked man to turn from his ways, and he does not do so, He will die for his sin, but you will have saved yourself. So a watchman is stationed on the wall. He's looking out to the horizon. He's searching for any kind of danger. If he does his job well, when the enemy approaches, that means he sounds a warning and lives will be saved. If If he's lazy and he isn't paying attention, people might die. If he's not sure if the enemy looks all that scary, but, but decides he'll just keep watching him and see if it looks like they're going to cause any real trouble. Or, or if he sees real and imminent harm, but he knows that people are going to be annoyed when he wakes them up in the middle of the night. And they might not react all that well. God is, God is saying to Ezekiel, you're the watchman. It's your job to warn about danger. If you decide not to do your job, you will be held responsible for the people who die. But if you wake them and they decide on their own to ignore the warning, well, whatever harm they come to will be on them, not on you. Here's the reality. The judgment for sin is real and it's severe, but God desperately wants everyone to be saved. In verse 11, he says, As surely as I live, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. And then he pleads with those who have made themselves his enemies, turn, turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, people of Israel? Jesus came. Jesus died, and he offers forgiveness and grace to all. The price is already paid, and not everyone's going to listen. Not everyone's going to believe it. That's not your responsibility. You can't make someone believe. But it is your responsibility to tell them. And some will listen. And for the joy of sharing that good news, that Jesus has died and has risen for the joy of seeing God's word work in people's hearts. We're going to continue to say what needs to be said, and we're going to do it with love, and we're going to do it with gentleness. We're going to say what needs to be said, and we're going to do what needs to be done, because that's what Jesus did for us. And Jesus knows what it's like to be rejected for speaking the truth. He knows what it's like to be rejected for doing the loving thing. And it didn't stop him because stopping would have meant losing us to death and to hell. And as great as the cost of saving us was, he considered the cost of doing nothing to be even higher. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. 
The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.